Hey everybody, welcome back to another video in my French yard with my St. Augustine grass. So today we're going to be talking about one of the more common issues with St. Augustine grass, which is where it's yellowing. Now, whether you just bought your house, you're taking care of your lawn for your first time, or you've been taking care of your lawn for five years, St. Augustine grass yellowing issues happens to everybody. There can be a few different reasons why this is. We're going to go over all of the potential reasons why your grass could be yellowing. So hopefully you can fix yours and get your lawn looking beautiful and green again. So the first scenario is going to be if you've never taken care of your lawn. If you just moved into this house for the first time, maybe you just laid St. Augustine grass for the first time. But basically you've never taken care of your lawn or you've never really, let's say, fertilized your lawn. Um, so if your lawn has not been fertilized regularly, most likely the reason why your grass is yellowing is because it has a lack of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a main component in lawn fertilizers. So if you don't fertilize your lawn, if you haven't done that before, that's probably your issue. You want to go ahead and buy some type of lawn fertilization, whichever one you want to buy, something high in nitrogen and give your lawn a good applicant of that. And try to do that again every few weeks. That should take care of your issue and the yellowing grass should come back to be nice dark green just the way you want it. Now if you do fertilize your lawn regularly then it's not going to be a nitrogen deficiency. So now we have two options. Either you have a lack of, of iron because iron is not in a lot of lawn fertilizers or you have a fungus and you need to apply some type of a fungicide to your lawn. Now the quick and easy way to figure this out is if you have yellowing and it has been yellowing for a few weeks, if the grass is just yellowing and not actually dying back then you probably have an iron deficiency. With that, you can buy something like Ironite on Amazon. It works really well. You can apply that and you should start to see results. A lot of that yellowing should go back to being green and you should be, again, just fine. Now, if that doesn't work or if that yellowing grass has actually started turning brown and dying, if you're already at that stage where the grass is actually dying, then it's not a lack of, of iron because the grass won't actually die with a lack of iron. If it's actually dying, then you have a fungus and you really need to treat it quickly with a fungicide and try to apply that uh, regularly until all of that yellowing goes away. Now you can buy something like Disease X on Amazon or buy to any um, any uh, home improvement store that you want to. That'll work fine. There's also other um, other brands. It doesn't matter. Just something uh, some type of a fungicide to treat uh, to treat that issue. Now depending on when you actually caught the fungus, it could be a little bit too late. And so there is times where you all already have a lot of your lawn dying back where you actually need to cut out the disease portion just to make sure it doesn't actually go out and spread. And really, one thing that I would recommend is if you have a lot of yellowing in a lot of different parts of your lawn, or if you have, let's say, one large spot that is really yellowing really bad, it might be a good idea to go ahead and cut that out even before you apply your fungicide just to make sure that you get rid of this. The last thing you want to do is lose your whole lawn with the majority of it. So just try to cut that out, lay new sod down, and spray everything really well with a good fungicide to really take Take care of it. Now I'm not sure if you can tell but I do have a little bit of yellowing sporadically in my lawn and I've actually had this issue a lot throughout this year. And you might have seen it in some of my other videos where I showed my grass and you might also notice that, that yellowing is kind of coming and going. It kind of is in one spot over here but then it goes away and then it's in one spot over here and it keeps on going a little bit back and forth. And so what I have is an issue that's a little bit systemic for me and really a lot of people I think in Texas who live in these type of communities that I do who have large trees in their front yard. We have small yards and our trees are relatively close together. So my issue is a lack of iron, but it's hard to really get, uh, get a grip on it and get a handle on it and prevent it from continuing because my issue is I've got these large trees and they've got these huge roots all the way under the grass. So they're constantly leaching that nitrogen, that iron, all those beneficial minerals and everything out of the grass. They're just taking it for themselves because these roots are huge. Even when I put my sod down uh, previously, I had to work around a lot of these roots and they're really starting to get a lot bigger. You know, I have my mulch over here where I didn't go too close to the trunk of the tree because of this with my grass. But even staying that far out, there still are really large roots that are just completely taking a lot of the nutrients out of the grass. And there's nothing we can really do about that if we want to actually keep our trees. We do want to continue to fertilize with your nitrogen fertilizer. You want to continue to fertilize with ironite. And that's what I'm doing. You have to continue doing that. If you don't do that, the whole grass is going to turn yellow. And I'm actually, what I'm going to be doing, what I plan to do next year, 
is I like this tree a lot. It is very pretty. It looks very good. Really nice curb appeal. But this tree on this side over here doesn't really have the same pizzazz. It doesn't look as nice as the other one. And really two large trees with all these roots, it's really killing my lawn. So I'm actually going to be doing a video and I'm actually going to be cutting that tree down probably next spring. And I really think that's going to make a huge difference on my issue. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. If there's any questions you have on this, anything I didn't answer, please comment below and I will be sure to answer any questions you might have. Thank you again and have a great day.